Yes. And through, if I pay no, if I pay Mr. Sure. President, if I pay Mr. President, it's only fear. It's only fear. Really. You've heard the legal summation. But it's only fear that the Marshall family and that uh, Lee and Marshall get an opportunity to close on behalf of the family. Through the chair. Yeah. May, may I make some yeah. comments, please? Through the chair, may I make some comments? Yeah. Yeah. I respond. Thank you. No, you're fine. That's it. Okay. So I was going to reserve my thoughts for subsequent meetings. However, tonight I feel compelled to rebut some of these comments that were made. Mr. Connolly, you did mention tonight that the American Planning Association was part of the plan that our planning department actually looked at when they came up with this plan, correct? What I mentioned is when I identified for you all of the performance standards, is that the American Planning Association, back at the time that they originally developed, actually awarded our ordinances in support of the Waterfront District Commission. So it was an American Planning Association award-winning construct. That's what, that's what the I The American Planning Association, which I have here, yeah. in their report, it polls communities and it gives guidance as to what the millennials and so on and so forth are looking for in this day and age, not a, an over uh, expired comprehensive plan that we currently have in our city, but right here. And I just want to read some of the quotes from here, okay? And then these are some of the highlights. Two thirds of respondents believe investing in schools and community features such as transportation, choices, and walkable areas is, is better, is a better way to grow the economy than investing in recruiting companies. Job prospects, economy health, are not the overriding factors for choosing where you live. Quality of life features such as transportation options, affordability, parks, local vitality, health, and presence of friends and family are equally or often more important. By a near two to one margin, respondents believe that investing in, in communities over recruiting companies is the key growth. Then uh, when asked about one overriding factor in choosing where to live, respondents overall cite the quality of life features ahead of local economy health and job prospects. So if our planning department, who are supposed to be the so-called experts, okay, read this, then that would be included okay, in that plan. And to be honest with you, all I heard tonight from you is that we're potentially going to be sued, which I don't really appreciate that most. They're already setting the stage. Please, sir. No, so the the echoing of my constituents and those beyond my ward is what I read here. So if our planning department are the experts, that they should be looking into this American Association of planning. Okay. So I'll have further questions in, in subsequent meetings, but I just want to point that out because that that stood out to me when that was uh, brought up. So I, I I agree with everything you just said. I think that that's exactly the kind of community you want to build. We're in a hundred percent agreement with what you just said about what attracts millennials and frankly others as well. That's why we want to build that kind of community. And anything I may have inferred about lawsuits is I. I have no idea what I would have said to create that sense in you. I apologize for well, it. Well, we cited I, all of the city ordinance and zoning and all of their due diligence and their legal bounds and whatever other, 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 other legal jargon we use. And that, that for a late person like me, that smells lawsuit. And that's what I, that, that was laid out, plain and simple for me. No, Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. No, I'll, I'll tell you now, that's not I'm really in my opinion. Yeah, no, it had nothing to do with. Uh, um, any kind of bail threat about a lawsuit. It has to do with, I have a, an obligation on the record to argue that we have met our legal obligation. That's my obligation. That's all it meant, nothing more than that. And I'm sure that uh, any good lawyer who appears before you in hearings uh, where it's required to meet legal standards um, summarizes on the basis as the, what the basis is for meeting those legal standards. Nothing more than that. 